Welcome students, Tom Harmer, your accounting professor here, and this will be a demonstration of how to complete the payroll register, journalize payroll, pay the employees, and then calculate and journalize the employer's payroll expenses. This is a summary of chapter 11, plus it fills in the gaps that chapter 11 didn't touch on. Now, I've also provided here some optional in the upper right corner. I have an optional uh, video lecture on calculating gross pay, the withholdings all the way through net pay and journalizing. And then I have another uh, e-lecture from another publisher on calculating employer payroll matching expenses and other expenses such as uh, unemployment tax, FUTA, and SUDA. So you can watch those if you like to fill that in. Your demonstration that you're watching right now is this first one up here. I'll have a separate demonstration on journalizing after you've prepared the payroll register, on journalizing the payroll register. And then a last video here, which will show how to calculate the employer matching payroll expenses and other payroll expenses that are required by law or by contract with the employee. So. Here we have the problem here. Calculate wages and withholding for Nelda Anderson and Winnie Lou. Complete the payroll register. Okay, so I've completed Earl Benson and, and Frank Cortez here are done. So you just have to calculate the withholdings and net pay uh, for Winnie Lou and Nelda Anderson. And then you're going to summarize the payroll register as I'll demonstrate here next. So. Just to mention, let's go over here. I'm at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to click over to Payroll Cycles. I uh, have provided this elsewhere in the Canvas class, but this is a summary of the, uh, of the payroll cycles that are happening in any company every week. We have employees work and for the week, and then they submit their time cards or time sheets. Then the accounting department, that being you guys, uh, prepare the payroll register. You calculate gross pay, you calculate all the withholdings that are required by law, and any other withholding that is required by your employment contract with the employee, like insurance benefits and things like that. Okay, then, then you're going to journalize the payroll register, and then after that, typically a week later, you're paying the employee. So we're gonna go through that. We mentioned here the employee's individual earnings record that was on page 4, 514. We're not going to actually do that, but that is required by law. And so, and then after we've journalized it all, we post the journal entries. And then later in the next cycle is a cycle in which the employer calculates their employer payroll expenses, the matching required, the federal unemployment and state unemployment taxes that are required that the employer pays but doesn't withhold from the employee's check and any fringe benefits that are agreed to in the employment contract. Now in this process, our textbook didn't talk about the limits. People aren't taxed on, on, on the, all of their wages. They have a ceiling limit on Social Security that is currently $117,000. And that's the example number we'll use, even if uh, that changes next year or so. Medicare is taxed regardless. There's no limit on that. and federal income tax, of course, the employer is not matching and there's no ceiling on that. So then we are going to prepare the payroll tax, journalize all of the employer's other payroll tax expense liabilities. We are not going to go into the actual forms that are used for reporting to this to the IRS here. So we'll just be taking it through preparing the journal entry for all of the employer expenses. So with that, we come back here. We're gonna finish the payroll here for Nelda Anderson. Anderson, she's married. She has five exemptions. She's got a pay rate of $9 an hour. She's worked 50 hours, so she has some overtime. So here we go. We've got 40, which is the maximum regular time for the week, times her $9 an hour. So we've got $360 of regular time, and then we've got 10 hours at time and a half, so that's going to be, so overtime will be equal to 9, so we've got equals 
times 9 times 1.5 times 10 hours or 135 so here we've got uh, total uh, equals equal to overtime plus regular time or 945 cumulative earnings are going to be the earnings prior to this payroll plus the current payroll so that's going to be equal to earnings prior plus current earnings there's our cumulative payroll there our social security wages this person is under 117,000 of cumulative earnings so that's going to be equal to the same at 495 the Medicare wages are on all wages regardless so that's going to be there at 495 Social Security wages withheld so this is the amount that withheld from the employees check that's going to be equal to the gross pay of 595 times 0 0.062 percent okay and our Medicare is equal to our gross pay at 495 times 0 0.0145 718 federal income tax withholding okay so this person had gross pay of 495 she married with five so I come down here to the married tables uh, withholding tables for married weekly payroll okay she's at 495 so let's scroll down come across here here's 480 to 490 490 to, to 500 we had Five. Let's come down. I write these. We got five exemptions here at 495. That's going to be uh, four dollars of withholding. So then we come back. So that withholding is going to be a four dollars. And now the net pay is going to equal the gross pay there minus our Social Security minus our Medicare minus our federal income tax withholding okay it brings us to 453.13 these are all credits the credit this is this is wages payable this is credit to FIT payable this is Medicare payable this is Social Security payable the wages expense that we're debiting we only have one category for wages for wages which is like wages expense and that equals gross pay so that's equal to our come over here gross pay so there we go so that we've done Nelda Anderson now let's go down to Winnie Wu now she's a high paid executive that happens to be a consulting position paid by the hour at a hundred dollars an hour she's worked 35 hours she has cumulative earnings of hundred and fourteen thousand dollars so when we take our regular times earnings that's equals to a hundred times our 35 that's thirty five hundred dollars now that's going to put her over the FICA limit and let's go back here to the limits that are mentioned in the problem here okay employer paid health insurance at two hundred dollars per employee per payroll period Federal unemployment tax is 0.8% and state unemployment tax is 4%. Okay, the limits for federal and state unemployment tax is $7,000. The limit for Social Security tax on an employee is $117,000. So you see here, Winnie Wu has straddled that, that number with this $3,500. She's going up to $117,000. So she's got regular times earnings. 3000 okay Medicare is equals to 0 0.0145 times the 3500 and then the federal income tax that is given the income tax tables attached down here don't go up to $3,500 of pay so therefore that is given to you as as a thousand dollars of withholding there so you see that's been added up here Winnie Wu withholding is 1,000 that's given okay so our net pay is equal to once again equals gross pay of 3,500 
minus 186 minus 5075 minus 1000 enter okay she's got a net pay of 23.63.25 and the wage expense is equal to her gross pay overtime earnings is zero and gross earnings is now equal to overtime plus our regular time and by the way you could have copied your formulas down from above cumulative earnings equals our current gross earnings plus our cumulative earnings prior to this payroll and that brings us to a hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred now you notice here that's five hundred dollars over the Social Security limit so she's not taxed on all thirty five hundred dollars of this income her Social Security wages that are taxable are only three thousand but her Medicare wages are there's no limit on that so that's still thirty five hundred Okay, so let's calculate her Social Security equals 0.062 times her gross earnings equals, okay, 217. Okay, so let's calculate Social Security withholding. That's going to be equal to 0.062 times the $3,000 that's taxable of her wages. That's 186. Medicare, there's no limit, so that's equal to 0.0145 times her Medicare wages. Okay, federal income tax, it's given up here. It's the tables we have down below don't go up to that high of gross pay. So we've got Winnie Wu withholding is 1,000. That's a given tab. And now we've got our net pay is equal to her gross earnings minus and you could like I mentioned you could have copied this formula minus Social Security withheld minus Medicare withheld minus federal income tax withheld so there's her net pay these withholdings are required by law now the wage expense for her is equal to her <clears throat> total wages so that's going to be over here at her gross earnings there boom so there we go now we've completed doing all the withholding, calculating the net pay for each employee. So now we're going to get our column totals. And when we journalize this payroll register, we just journalize the column totals. So the ones that we're going to be journalizing are our uh, Social Security withholding. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to get my formula in there using my summation formula. And I can just copy that over. Boom, there we go. That is what we're going to be journalized. This is the payable, Social Security payable, Medicare payable, federal income tax payable, wages payable. That's our net pay is wages payable and the wages expense is 48. So our next video will demonstrate journalizing this payroll register.